Hello and welcome to Infinity. Today we're going to talk about how we can create a set of colours and then use them uh, in particular a set of colours that go well together. Uh, this is based on some basic colour theory. I cover this in another video, so wherever it is, go... There's somewhere to click on here. Click on it if you need to. Uh, it's very simple and it just explains why we get the colours together that we like to use. So, without further ado, let's get on with the real video. OK, let's have a look at this picture and see if we can create some colour harmony within it. It should be fairly simple because we've got some three very distinct areas. We've got the sky, we've got the roof and we've got the stonework. So let's start off by saying we'd like to get some matching colours. So we'll pick one as the base colour and then get other matching colours off that. The, the roof is quite nice, isn't it? So let's use that. Let's go up to the colour picker, come down here. If I click, but if I drag the mouse a bit, then the up pops the magnifier and we can be more accurate in the colour we want. So here we have uh, a nice colour blue. Now what we want to do now is, cut, is create a set of colours that match with the blue. In fact, we've got three colours altogether, really, don't we? So the way to do this is we first of all come to swatches here and we're going to set a new swatch or palette. So up here we're going to click on the little menu drop down there and go to our document palette, uh, not application palette because that becomes for all photos, so it's just for this one. Uh, it's unnamed, we can name it if we like, let's say you know, rename and let's call that nice colours, okay, that'll do. And uh, so the, the magic now comes when you go back to colour here and we go again to the drop down menu for colour, which is of course going to be different. And down the bottom of this, there's create colour chord. And in this, we've got all the different colour combinations, which all go together. So complementaries is two. Then we've got several, which are three colours and tetradic and square give you four matching colours. So let's go, say, to triadic, which is a uh, equilateral triangle on the colour wheel. Nothing much seems to have happened here, but when we go to swatches, look, there are three colours now in our new palette. In fact, it'll put them in whatever palette is at the front at the time, so it's a good idea to create a new palette so you can get rid of it afterwards and don't ha not have it hanging around too long. So, <coughs> what we'll do now is select an area to work on. So let's select the sky and uh, let's use the flood select. Here we'll turn contiguous off and tolerance, yeah, right, 10%, something like that's a good, fair enough start. So if I click here and just drag, and it will increasingly, as I slide sideways, select the colours. And don't worry about over selecting, there's some here uh, are selected, but I've got the sky. I've got little bits of sky in the window here and down in these corners here. So to get rid of the other stuff I don't want, I go to the selection brush, I click on subtract. Um, I'll take off snap to edges at the moment because um, we don't want to sort of accidentally interfere with the sky we've got selected. I mean, let's just paint over these here, paint out the, the bits we don't want. There we go. It's a good idea in doing this to lift the button and repress it again on the mouse now and again. Otherwise, you are, if you make a mistake, you have to, so if you do an undo, it goes back to the beginning. OK, that'll do. Now we've got this selected, we want to do some painting of that. So rather than paint directly into it, we could do, we could just select the, the red here and paint on this. Um, a nice way to do it is, is to have a separate layer. So we go to add pixel layer and we'll go to the flood fill tool and we'll click on here and there we are. It's put it nicely in. We can go to select, deselect now 
and see it's it's got the filled in the various holes here so okay if there's some here areas here it's painted into on the building i can go along to the raise brush here let's make that a bit bigger and just paint that out yeah so anything that's crept in we didn't quite get rid of then we we can make that nice and tidy then what we're going to do is because this is rather harsh color um, we're going to just go down here and just change this to the color mode it makes it sort of blended in a bit more naturally so that's here click on the normal and go all the way down to color and we can also change it a bit if we want to drop this down a bit is if we find it a bit pink let's take that down to around about 80 oh, ish something like that there yeah, that'll do so there we go we've got a nice matching sky that matches nicely with the roof so let's change the stonework here for this let's use the selection brush we'll have a uh, snap to edges gonna make sure we've got the background selected here on this so now we can paint on this where are we oh yes we can have add as well that's it always make sure you've got add selected otherwise you'll be confused yes i was just now we can just paint around the edges of this don't worry if it goes too far we can always deselect that afterwards so i'll hold down make this a little bit smaller and hold down the alt key to paint away the things that we are don't particularly want how's that out there i will add in bits of this take out bits of that oops it's a little game of add and take then we'll make them most smaller again and take out some of these colored bits and go just a little single click in those is often enough put that back and I'm, I'm clicking and then alt clicking here to add and take away i'm going to spend a bit of time on this wheel won't worry too much about it so there we go that'll do so we will now add some color to this and we do the same thing as we did before so we'll add a pixel layer and we'll choose the color here which is the green uh, which of course we can tone down afterwards we go to the flood fill tool and we click in the middle of this there we go that's a bit of green oh, that's very green isn't it but when we go down to the color length there where is it down here there we go this color there we go we've made this pretty green which um select deselect this now of course that's a bit on the heavy side isn't it so let's just turn down the opacity so it just gives a little bit of the tinge on it and when we're on this layer we can come over here and we can take the erase tool and if we've got bits we don't really want we can go around painting away or even painting in we can select the ordinary paintbrush and paint in with this color for areas that we might have missed but there we have it we have a nice picture here with the colors which are being coordinated in a subtle way and maybe that's just a little bit nicer you can use this for all kinds of things of course but this is a very simple example to show you thank you very much for watching